Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time, my name is Masika Ifuru. Today I am here to do one of my first Sephora hauls from the VIB Rouge sale that they had last week. And I purchased over $800 worth of products. So if you would like to see what I purchased, definitely stick around with me. The first thing I pulled out is the lipstick that I am wearing today, which is this Too Faced Not in Matte Lipstick. And I am wearing her in the color Miss Ropa, which is this lovely orange. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. And it stays matte all day with these lipsticks. I don't have to touch up. If I eat, they stay on. If I drink from my cup, it doesn't rub off on the cup. If I kiss someone, my lipstick doesn't transfer to them. Like it definitely stays in place. And then my mouth stays moisturized all day. Like I don't feel dry like most matte lipsticks dry. Your lips out, this one, it stays very, very soft and natural throughout the day. Purchase from Sephora and I paid $21 for this lipstick and I also purchased her in this red color which is Lady Balls and with Lady Balls it is this beautiful red color I'm just gonna swatch it here for you so you can see because I'm already wearing lipstick this is Lady Balls and Lady Balls is that perfect pretty Christmas romantic color so beautiful and it stays it has the same formula as this orange lipstick and I also paid $21 for this lipstick and last but not least I have it in the pink which is ooh, that's the pink next to the red this pink shade is called it's happening and I also paid $21 for this. I have these Sephora wipes. That's my absolute favorite. I use these just about every day to take my makeup off. And they're $8 each at Sephora. And I purchased them in the watermelon smell. It smells really, really good. I'm just going to use one <laughs> to wipe the lipsticks off because these lipsticks if, if you do not use a makeup remover it's gonna stay right on your mouth <laughs> and I have four of the lip toppers from Urban Decay Vice collection the first shade I have is Fever and Fever is light orange like a green shine to it let me just swatch it to show you how it swatches like, uh, these can be worn over a lipstick or they can be worn by yourself and that's what Fiva is looking like Moving on along. the second shade I have from the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects is this color third degree and third degree is gold as you see in the bottle third degree is golden and I'm gonna also swatch third degree and show you how third degree swatches really pretty really really pretty this is third degree over here really pretty golden and I am going to be reviewing all of these products on my channel. So if you are new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing so you can see how all of these products apply. And moving on along, I have the color White Lie. And White Lie, you get a white color with a blue shine to it. Right here for you. This is white lie right here, which is really, really beautiful. Moving on along, I have 
my last lip topper from Urban Decay Vice Collection in the color Litter. Excuse me. And with Litter, this one is white with green sparkles in it. The sparkle seems a bit bigger than the other sparkles and the other ones that I swatched before. So I'm just going to swatch this. It's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, this is a litter right here. This is a litter. And this is how they're looking. They're really, really beautiful. I really can't wait to try these over lipsticks and really see how they look over lipsticks. Like, I am so excited to try these. these Urban Decay Lip Toppers. I purchased them from Sephora online for $10 each as they were on sale during the VIB sale. I am a Rouge member, so I did get 20% off my purchase for about two weeks. I was in Sephora almost every day. So I, that's how I ended up with $800 worth of merchandise, which I am very satisfied with. Also, I picked up from Becca. This is the liquid crystal lip topper and it's a glow gloss in the color pearl times gold and this is what it's looking like it's white with i would say some really pretty gold sparkles in it i am gonna swatch it at the top right here of my hand for you and it's really creamy really really creamy and pretty which is really beautiful. This is a lip gloss or a lip topper as well. But this is a creamy formula with this one opposed to the Urban Decay, which are all matted formulas. The Becca lip gloss topper is definitely a gloss. But like I said, you can also use it for a lip topper. It's really pretty. That's my first bag. Um, things I purchased and these were these were the lip items that I purchased and in bag number two I have this Sephora flat iron I purchased this flat iron from Sephora online for I think it was $15 but it's all sold out now when I go on I don't see it anymore so it might be sold out now ladies if you try to get it but yeah, this is how it comes in this pretty pouch. I'm gonna open it. And you get your flat iron in here. And it's perfect for if you're traveling. It's small, it's not like a really big flat iron at all. It's really nice. It doesn't have any heat controls on it. You can just turn it on or off, but you can um, adjust the heat, which is okay. And I would say this is perfect for traveling. As I do have one of these already, so when I saw it online, I definitely had to repurchase another one. So when I go on vacation, I have a flat iron, and when I'm home, I have one. It works a lovely. I've used it many times before. I am gonna actually list a link in the information button at the top, and it's gonna show you a video where I did use this flat iron to, to crimp my hair on the front to blend it, and it, it was just lovely. Moving on along, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scent Spray. And I also saw this online for $10. It was in the sale category, so of course I had to pick it up as I do stock Sephora sale every day <laughs> to see what's new. And it's double cover and it have a beautiful cherry smell to it. I did review one of these on my channel previously. And if you are interested in that as well, I will also leave that video in the information button at the top of the screen. So you can definitely click there to see how this Urban Decay Cherry apply. Moving on along, 
I have. This is the Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor Mask. I purchased this one in store. And this is a pore extractor mask that I use. It works well for cleansing your pores and shrinking pores. If you do have large pores, I do I have large pores around this area. And this does an amazing job at helping shrink your pores. <clears throat> Moving on along, I have one of my very favorite brush sets to use. And I purchased this one from Sephora online. I saw it, I was up late one night like, and it was, I think, $29. Yeah, I think it was $29. So I had to purchase it. And at that time, the sale was also going on. And this is the Todd High Performance Go Getters Contour Brush Set. And you get five brushes in here. You have a foundation brush, a bronzing brush, a brush for blush, and you, the other small one can also be used like for eyeshadow or small areas. This is what it's looking like. Very, very beautiful. I use these brushes all the time as I also have an open set that I use all the time. So I definitely couldn't pass on. I have another one of my favorite, and this is the It Cosmetics oil-free CC cream and I also did a full review and wear test on this product this is a matte oil-free CC cream and I purchased it in the color rich and if you would like to see how it applies I'll also leave a video so you can see how it applies how it wear for a full 12 hours on my oily skin also compared it to the old it cosmetic CC cream so if you're interested in seeing that Definitely click on the information button, like I said, and it comes in this packaging, if you haven't seen it before. The price is $38, and this is one of my absolute favorites, like I just said. I also purchased this from Sephora Online, some of the soft mini velour puffs. And I purchased this for maybe $3 on Sephora, which was a good price because I use these all the time. And I also have the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, which I also reviewed on my channel. This was so lovely that I had to purchase it at the sale price again. And like I said before, if you're interested in seeing how this Beauty Blender Foundation applied, Definitely click on the information section and I will have full wear test and review on this product. I purchased this for maybe $38 from Sephora and it's beautiful. Like I said, it's super lightweight. It's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. So I had to repurchase it again. I also purchased one of my favorites as well which i have many favorites don't get me wrong like i love sephora they have some of the most beautiful products at least once a week i'm in sephora so don't get me wrong if you hear me saying okay this is my favorite this is my favorite too this is my favorite well they're all my favorite like i love so much of those products in sephora and they're amazing and i try to grab most of them and review it on my channel to share with you guys and like I said this is one of my favorite this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer if you would like to see how this applies in a full wear test on my oily skin definitely click on the information section and I will have a video there as I did do a full wear test on my oily skin and it held up lovely so if you're interested in seeing that video Click on the information section right there. Moving on along to my final bag. Let's see what's in here. What do we have in here? Okay. First thing up, I have the Too Faced Bronzed Peach Melting Powder. And this is a bronzer. I purchased this from Sephora online for $10. It was on sale and it's usually $34 so this is what the packaging is looking like and 
it smells like peaches it is really really a lovely bronzer and it um it is creamy however when you when you apply it to your skin it becomes powdery which is really really lovely so this is the Too Faced bronze peach and it is in the color toasted peach i also purchased the Too Faced peach my cheeks and this is the blush what it's looking like and this is in the color spiced peach and spiced peach is like a beautiful beautiful dark rosy color for the cheeks and it smells so beautiful that's why i keep smelling it i have one more blush and this is in the color so peachy from the Too Faced peach my cheeks and this is what the packaging is looking like and this is a really really pretty pink this is like a i would call this a barbie pink this is beautiful and it also smells like peaches lovely and i paid ten dollars for this as well from sephora online so all three of these two face peach products are lovely <laughs> I was satisfied with these and I got all three of these for $10 each which brought it to $30 and one of these is worth $34 so I think this was a steal. Yes, I stole those. <laughs> and for these lashes I am wearing today, I have some. I also purchased them from Sephora. This is from Tarte, High Performance Natural and these are vegan lashes. And it is in the style Heartbreaker. This is the style Heartbreaker. And Heartbreaker is really, really lovely. It's one of my favorites to get. So I definitely had to pick one up when I went. I have two new products that I purchased from Sephora as well. I recently reviewed them on my channel. And first up, the, the Da Vinci Tint Couture Eyewear Foundation. And this is a 24 hour satin finish full coverage foundation and this is what i am wearing today on my face and this is what the packaging looks like it has a pump on this and i am in the color p300 and if you're interested in seeing how well this foundation applies how well it held up to my oily skin on a full 12 hour wear test definitely click the information button and check out the review that i did recently on my channel about this that made me keep this foundation as one of my favorites so i must say that and that's what i'm wearing today Moving on along, we have the concealer, the Givenchy Tint Couture Eyewear Concealer. I purchased the concealer in number 32. I paid $32 from Sephora for this, and it was absolutely worth my purchase. I am going to be comparing this Givenchy concealer to my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So if you're interested in seeing how this compares to the Tarte Shape Tape, definitely subscribe to my channel as I do have an honest review and comparison coming up on this Givenchy versus my Tarte Shape Tape. Moving on along as I still have so much more stuff to show you guys. Also from Tarte, I purchased the Lash Adhesive and I paid nine dollars for it. This is the eyelash glue that I use for today. It works really nice. It's black. It has a really thin strip, so it goes on very easy. It dries very easily as well, so you don't have to wait long for those lashes to dry. They're like super quick with this one. Moving on along, I purchased the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette from Sephora Online. And I bought this uh, in the sales section. I believe it was for $27, which was lovely. This back top palette, on one side, you have four beautiful blushes. And in the mirror, you have a removable mirror with both sides, which is like really, really lovely. I love things like this. And on the other side of it, you get eyeshadow. So you have four blushes, and then you have eyeshadow. A mirror that inserts in the middle, like so. 
This is such a lovely palette. Really, really beautiful. I can't wait to use this. And if you want to see how this applies, definitely subscribe, hit my notification bell so you can see when I use it, how it applies, if it's worth the purchase, and all of that. I have the Anastasia Lip Palette. And in this lip palette, you get 18 colors, guys, in here. And this is really, really a great purchase. I paid, I think, $45 for this palette, if I can get it open. Okay, they also have an applicator. One side has a brush, and this side is for you to take the lipstick out with. And these are some really, really pretty colors. Um, my finger went into the blue, but they are really, really pretty. And this is what they're looking like. Up next, I have the Sultry palette. And if you're used to my channel, you know I already reviewed one of these palettes. However, I did repurchase a new one as my old one was a bit worn and being that Sephora had a sale. A sale is a perfect time for me, if you know me, to replace all of my old palettes that I'm in love with. And this was one of my favorite. It had so much neutral colors in here. Like, I, I mean, I love a lot of colors. I love pigmented colors, but sometimes I really, really love neutral colors. And this Sultry palette definitely delivered on this. And if you would like to see how this palette swatch and apply, click in the information section. I leave my video review for you. And this was 40, I think $42 from Sephora, but I am gonna leave links to all of the products in my description box. I have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette are uh, $65 each which is a bit pricey so as they had the sale this was my opportunity to finally pick up my my first Huda Beauty palette this is what it's looking like and I am definitely going to do a full review on this palette coming up on my channel and this is a talic free palette which I love I love talic free makeup I have the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I purchased this one from a Sephora sale section. I saw this for $27, and I had to have it. I just had to have it. You see these neutral shades, how pretty they are? Beautiful, beautiful. Every, every, every neutral shade you would want is in this Naked Palette right here. And this was an amazing, amazing purchase for $27, like I said. Who know Urban Decay Naked Palettes? They know that these usually cost about $49. So $27 is an absolutely amazing, amazing price. Not to mention, I also got the 20% discount with my Rouge discounts. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So as I had my 20% discount, I capitalize and purchase the chocolate palette and this is what it's looking like really beautiful colors a lot of neutral shades they have this purple which is like the only color that stands out really but other than that they're all neutral shades i purchased this from sephora for 49 dollars also had to repurchase this palette from Anastasia, which is one of my favorite, the Modern Renaissance palette. And if you know me, you know I love Anastasia palettes. She just has some of the best formula in her products. And if you never saw the Modern Renaissance palette, this is what it's looking like. I already do own maybe two of this palette, but they're not in good condition, so I definitely had to repurchase this. And I paid $42 from Sephora. And last but not least, I have the Anastasia Rivera palette, which if you know me, you know I already purchased this palette previously. However, it was a bit used because I couldn't stop using it. <laughs> I also reviewed it on my channel. And if you would like to see how it applied, like I said, click the information button and I'll definitely have a link to this palette for you. And if you haven't seen it before, you get really, really beautiful colors in here. 
really, really pretty. And I purchased this palette for $45 from Sephora with my own money. And all of these products were purchased from Sephora in a total of, I would say I had maybe, I would say I probably had about eight visits during the sale to Sephora store and online, which I got everything that I wanted to get in my grand total was about $8.50 for everything that I have and I believe it was all worth my money. I'm definitely happy about my purchase and I really hope my haul video was helpful to someone. If it was, don't forget to let me know by hitting the like button as this is my first haul video I've ever done. But I do visit Sephora every week and purchase new items and review on my channel. So if you are new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing by clicking my picture right here. And I do look forward to seeing you in all of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching.